Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while. <laughs> so, um, I don't know if you can tell by my makeup, but I've been watching a lot of TikTok lately. <laughs> um, yeah, it's been literally, I think two months since I've filmed, which is really bad. And um, <laughs> I have some videos filmed that I haven't edited and uploaded, but I'm really motivated to do this one because <laughs> I've been wanting to do it for a while. And it's basically just a comparison of the Glamnetic mink eyelashes versus the vegan eyelashes, which I believe the vegan ones are made out of silk. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. This is just what I think. I don't know for a fact. I'll be doing um, a check-in later after wearing these lashes for... Mm, around around eight hours I don't know it's it's four o'clock in the afternoon now so it's already late so I might not do the check-in later but I want to just to see if there's a difference with how um, they're made if one magnetizes better to the liner than the other hopefully that's not the case because I would hope they're the same quality as the mink ones that we all know and hopefully love and I love um, yeah my last glamnetic video got more views than any of my videos ever it got a shit ton of views granted it's been seven months since i filmed that video which is insane because where's the time gone i don't know it, we're in quarantine i guess everyone should be staying home social distancing um it's kind of hard for me to talk about the whole coronavirus thing i don't know i watched some youtube youtubers like avoid the subject i mean they're talking about it but they're kind of avoiding it because i don't think I don't know, it, it's a touchy subject, but um, for someone like me, I am a phlebotomist full time, which means I draw blood in um, a hospital, so it's really scary for me. <laughs> um, yeah, that, that's all I'm going to say, it, mm, I don't, mm, mm, never mind, I was going to say some stuff about my facility where I work, but I'm not even going to go there. Um, anyways, that's not what this video is about. So I was looking through my comments. I look through every single comment on every single video, by the way. If I don't respond to you right away, it's because I literally just didn't see it. But I try to respond to every comment that I get. Oh, today is Tuesday, March 31st. Oh my god, it's almost April of 2020. Isn't that crazy? I feel like this year is just... Ugh, it's crazy. So this girl commented on my glamnetic video and her name is Allison Smith. Hey Allison, what's up? Shout out to you for inspiring me to finally film for the first time in like two months. I appreciate it. Hopefully this video is uploaded on Thursday, April 1st or is today Wednesday? Today's Tuesday. Wednesday, April 1st or Thursday, April 2nd. Anyways, she um, commented, could people with glasses wear like the magnetic eyelashes? Um, I said, yeah, absolutely, because, like, why not, you know? But that was kind of silly of me to respond to that right away, because I don't wear glasses. And she said they're not too long. I like the lust ones. So I guess she meant, like, when you wear the eyelashes, you don't want them to touch your glasses, which uh, my fiancé, Micah's eyelashes touch his glasses, and those are his natural eyelashes, so, like, I'm jealous. But anyways, I don't wear lashes, so I was going to try on the lust lashes for her, because that's the style that she wants to purchase, I'm assuming. That's the one she likes. And I'm going to put on Micah's glasses. Or maybe even, I have these fake glasses. Glasses wearers. I'm sorry, I have fake glasses. But they're like a blue light protection glasses that I got from Queen Herbie's website, Queen Studio. You guys already know about Queen Studio if you watch my videos. I'm obsessed with Queen Studio. One of my favorite brands because I love Queen Herbie. And it's just good makeup and good stuff. Okay, I'm rambling so bad. Sorry. So anyways, um... Yeah, I thought I would try on the Lust Lashes specifically for Allison today and put glasses on. And then I'll jump into the comparison of the mink versus the vegan Glamnetic Lashes. And I'm going to be wearing one on one eye and one on the other. And then, like I said, in eight hours or so, maybe a little bit less, I will check up and see if they've lifted or anything. So, um, the eyeliner that I used today was the uh, the Queen Studio Dragon Liner. If you guys are interested in any of the other products I'm wearing on my face, just comment down below. I will totally let you know. Um, yeah, so I recently got 
a new Glamnetic liquid eyeliner. It comes in a box like this that's very pretty. Um, it came very quickly in the mail, which I was really surprised by, and I still haven't used it. I got a new one because my old one was pretty much gone, and I'd say seven months is a long time for the eyeliner to last. Just right on my lash line. And you guys, right away I can tell. Hang on, let me do this and then I'll talk. Oh my god, okay. So before I do the other eye, I'm going to let that one dry. Right away I can tell that they've upgraded their Glamnetic liquid liner. Like, for example, the brush is so much skinnier and smoother, glides on smoother, and the formula feels like it glides on smoother and is less sticky than it was the first time I got it seven months ago from their original launch, which is really nice. I like that improvement a lot. Not that I had a problem with the uh, liner previously. Okay, so my Lust lashes are some of the original ones that I bought from my first Glamnetic um, video. If you guys didn't see it, I'll link it somewhere up here or up here or something. Um, yeah, these were the original ones from their first launch. And I have cut these to be four magnets instead of five because my eyes are small. <laughs> All people complaining about how they have a hard time getting the um, Glamnetic liner off their eyelid. And I was kind of surprised because I've not had a difficult time. And I don't even use makeup remover, I just use, um, and I don't use wipes either anymore, I use their reusable makeup wipes type things, you just use them to take your makeup off and when they get dirty enough after mm, three uses, but I don't wear foundation, um, you throw them in the washing machine with your clothes and then they're all clean again, ready to use again. You can use them I think up to 500 times, or they take the place of 500 um, makeup wipes, which is really good, way better for the environment. And just way cheaper because makeup wipes, especially the ones I like, which are Neutrogena, were so expensive. The best way to clean your magnets on these, and I can try to film a video on how to care for your Glamnetic lashes if you guys are interested in that, is to take your fingernail and just scrape the extra liner off of the magnet. Again, these are the Lust lashes, so now I think this eyeliner... So now I think this eyeliner is nice and dry. I'm going to go ahead and just slap it on there, friends. Yep. Oh, that feels so good. Nice and secure. If I could go back in time, I definitely would not have cut these. I think they look prettier if they're full. I'll look at that from the side. See how pretty that is? I definitely, looking back, would have just left them with the five magnets and tried to make it work for my eye, but... Here we are. It's fine. Everything's fine. So they're very secure as you can see. Now I've had these lashes for, like I said, seven months now. I've probably worn these up to probably 50, 50, 60, 75 times at this point. I mean, you get a lot of wear out of these. If you take good care of them and you put them away and you don't leave them on your freaking counter to get blown away, to get caught in your dog's tail, it happens to me all the time, trust me. Um, yeah, they're nice. So here's the side profile of the lashes. And here, here's this one. I'm gonna go ahead and put those on, and these sit really close to my face, so um, the reflection of the window is really annoying. Um, yeah, these sit hella close to my face, so let me just turn my head. I don't know, are they touching the glasses? I feel like the left side is kind of, but I don't know about the right. Can you guys see? I hope you can see. I'm gonna watch this footage back and be like, oh, you can't see shit. I can definitely feel them touching right here. Like, let me see if I can zoom you in. I'm trying to get out of the reflection. Okay, well this is why I need 
Micah's glasses because his don't his don't reflect. I just grabbed his glasses and I had to Windex them <laughs> first because you guys they were freaking dirty and when my mom was in town the last time she always had glasses cleaner and she was like let me clean your glasses because they're dirty it's so cute now these are super stretched out too wide for my head but I think we'll still get the idea even though I can't see you guys can um how do I look I hope you guys can see you, even with the reflection of the window. They feel better with these glasses, but these also don't fit me. So, um, yeah, when I blink, I can feel them. Oh, yeah. Do you guys see? I really hope you guys can see that. When I close my eyes and then I go to drag my eyes up, I can feel the lashes kind of uh, hit against the glasses. The lashes hit against the glasses. <laughs> rhyming so um yeah it doesn't feel bad though um it feels fine <laughs> it's just kind of annoying to feel but i don't think it let me push them further to my face so yeah look at that's only if your glasses i feel like fit sit really close to your eyes so let me see if it affected the positioning of the lashes at all so no as you can see my lashes are still stuck on really nice nothing's lifting so even if your lashes are hitting against your glasses Allison in particular <laughs> um, I don't think it would really affect how well they stay on as long as you're cleaning your magnets and keeping the lashes pretty fresh I don't think the glasses thing is an issue so um there you go Allison you're welcome the style is really pretty as you can see if you have uh, bigger eyes than me you may not even have to cut a magnet off you could just use all five magnets now before I try on the vegan pair compared to the uh, regular normal pair whatever you want to say I have to recommend to you guys this dry shampoo because, bitch, my hair, as you can see, it's really dark. I have very dark brown hair. Um, I have bangs, so you know when my hair gets oily, it's very obvious because of the bangs. Um, my hair, are you all listening? My hair has not been washed in five days. Yeah, five days. And it's all because of this dry shampoo. This video is not sponsored. This was not sent to me. I bought this with my own money because I saw a commercial for it on YouTube. <laughs> of course. Or an advertisement, I guess, on YouTube. And it said no residue. And I was like, there's no way. Because any dry shampoo I've ever used with my dark hair, I've seen white cast, white residue. Now, granted, I don't use anything else in my hair. I don't use hairsprays. All I use are heat protectants, leave-in conditioners, and occasionally some mousse. But, um, yeah, this dry shampoo has been a lifesaver. It's the Pantene Never Tell. And it's only six bucks. It's everything. It's lust lashes off. Um, Allison, thank you for commenting. And if you've subscribed, I don't know if you have or not. You may have. If you have, hello. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you all of you for subscribing. I have 170 subscribers now, I think, or 169. I'm very surprised and very grateful. Especially for everyone for watching that Glamnetic video. Like, although almost 29,000 people have watched that. And they all haven't subscribed. <laughs> What's wrong with me? I'm not worth subscribing. You don't like my personality? You just wanted to see if I like the lashes? Excuse me? What? <laughs> um, I'm just kidding. You don't have to subscribe if you don't want to. I'm just saying. Lashes that I want to use. These are the Lavish lashes which are actually my favorite from Glamnetic as of right now. Um, these might change the game. These are the vegan ones and these are the style Vogue. So let me show you up close. It's been a while since I bought these vegan ones so they may have changed the 
um, packaging since this one. So the difference is that the magnetic ones is in the standard cardboard box that magnets open and close. If I could get it like this and the lashes are in there like this. Lavish style or very dramatic in case you were wondering. And then the Vogue lashes come in this where you pull it out and then they're just magnet like that. Not in the magnet to close box. The vegan one on my good side and then the not vegan one on my bad side, my left side. So let me just zoom you in a bit. So I don't think I'm going to have to reapply liner after wearing those other ones. I still didn't wipe this liner off. It doesn't matter. I'm not going anywhere today. It's on my eye. Maybe I won't have to cut them. Because I think my lashes look better when they're a little bit longer. So yeah, let's do this. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's right up my alley. That's like my kind of lash right there. Okay. They do feel, and I don't know if it's because they're new and I haven't worn them yet or because they're the vegan ones, they do feel a little bit more stiff than all my other ones. So here's the Vogue style. It's from, it's from this side here. Mm, pretty, am I right? So yeah, that's the Vogue. They feel comfortable though, just like the um, regular mink lashes. Okay, let's try this again. Maybe I won't have to add more liner. Ooh. That magnet. Oh, look at that. That one's not secure. See how it's good to look on the side of your lashes too? See, now it's secure. I ain't ashamed to show that type of shit. So that's the side of the other one. These are beautiful. I think Vogue might be my new favorite instead of Lavish. Cause look at that. It kind of looks like cat eye, like what I like. <laughs> but I will check in with you guys later with my ring light. So the lighting's not gonna be this good, but I will check in and I will see you guys very soon. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be eight hours for me, but it'll be like two seconds for you. So here's the time. It is 4.37 p.m. So I will see you guys later. So um, here's me looking way more pale and in absolute shit lighting in my opinion. <laughs> the ring light's fine when I also have my box, softbox on too, but um, without the softbox I think it just looks kind of weird. Also it's kind of broken so I can't get it lifted up as high as I want to. So the lighting's just kind of off in general, I apologize. Um, yeah, so this is my check-in. As you can see, it's 10.32, and that is p.m. So, let me zoom you guys in a bit. Okay, so, um, yeah, here are the lashes. As you can see, I feel like they still look really good. Don't mind my makeup, everything's quite faded at this point. Um, this wing looks funny because this eye would not stop watering when I was cooking chicken earlier. <laughs> I don't know why. But, um, yeah. What do you guys think? Which ones look better to you? I think these are my new favorites. Eyelash style from Glamnetics, the Vogue. I think they stayed magnetized really well. The inner corner looks to be lifting slightly but not bad at all. Let me show this side view. Nope, no lifting there. Does not look like it to me. So here's the lavish one. Oh my god, my skin looks so bad. It's been a long day, you guys. Long day of not doing shit. So, there is some slight lifting here. As you can see when I pull my eyelid taut like that, you can kind of see the magnet has lifted up. Um, and I did clean this one really well before I put it on. So I don't want to necessarily say that the lifting on the inner corner of this one is because it's the mink and not the vegan lash. I, 
I think it might just be because that one's a little bit older. Um, but I normally don't have that problem anyways. Uh, like I said, it's been, what, has it been eight hours now or six hours? Um, the lashes would probably look about the same in eight hours as they would now. Um, they still feel really secure. They don't feel like they're going to fly off or anything. Um, super comfortable, super lightweight. These lashes are really good. I don't know what to tell you guys. <laughs> I actually got a really good video idea from someone who commented on my previous Glamnetic video um, while I was just hanging out today and not really do anything. And she recommended that I do a try on of all my Glamnetic lashes because I believe I have five styles. So yeah, that's a video that I think I'm probably going to film next week or so. So you all be on the lookout for that. I don't know, I can't really think of anything else that I was going to tell you guys. This lighting is so unflattering, oh my god. It's so ugly. If I lowered my camera, it would look so much better. Hold up. Oh no, that still looks bad. But it looks better. My dark circles are just really bad right now. And my blush is like wearing off and my fake freckles. Yeah, so this is what it looks like to wear makeup like most of the day. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure and subscribe to my channel. Give it a thumbs up. Um, yeah. Comment down below what you think. Which eyelash you like better. So I hope you all have a great day. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.